What's going on stackers? So in this video we're going to be talking about my workflow and how I actually get everything done. Now if you're new here my name's Paddy and every single day I like to bring out videos teaching you how to make money with nothing more than your internet connection and your laptop. So go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. Also, if you're new to low and no content, then check out that link in the description below to go to Printing Profits. This course lays out everything I did step by step to hit $1,000 per month within three months. You can also get there by going to printingprofits.com with no G. So, getting my work done. What do I actually do? What is my workflow? And how do I actually structure everything? Well, it comes down to one thing, and that thing is batching your work. So, what do I mean by this? Well, for a few hours, I'll do... Let's just do that. I'll do research. So I'll do all my research in one go. I'll collect all that data and put that into a spreadsheet. Then when it comes to book creation, so let's just put a C. So creating my books, I will do that all in one go. This is batching my work. And then when I come to upload the books, I will do that in one go as well. So doing it this way helps you do a lot more work in a lot less time because quite a lot of people I still see this they do a little bit of research so let's just put an R and then they'll do that research then they'll create the one book so let's do a C Ooh. so they do the research then they create the book and then they'll upload it now the problem with this is it's going to take you forever to upload multiple different books, especially if you're doing it one by one. Let's just put a circle around that. Now the beauty of batching your work, it just helps you do so much more because you can dedicate that time for that one specific task. So with research, you could put in a good hour or two just researching and because once you start researching you get into the flow you start finding good ideas and you don't want to stop so all this research you could do on one day all your book creation you could do on another and then you could do your uploading on a separate day as well now all of this and the way you structure it, whether you do your research and creation on one day, you upload on another, all this depends on you and your lifestyle and where you can fit it in. See, that's the beauty of all this. It's up to you how you do it. But I do suggest batching your workload because it's going to make things so much easier on you. Now me personally, I have so much research already done that all I have to do now is come into my research and I can create the books. So with me now, I don't really have to do much research at the minute because I've already done so much. So now all I have to do is focus on the creation and upload. Now again, let's go back over to here to my research. All these right here are Pinterest quotes that I'm highly likely going to put them on book covers just for standard journals. And then if we go to this one, I also have a lot of different ideas here when it comes to low and no content. So I've got like journal, diary, notebook, all the standard stuff, then graph paper, handwriting, practice paper, all this is standard stuff there, but then we've got the coloring books, activity books, puzzle books, workout logbook, scuba diving logbook, fishing logbook, travel logbook, truck logbook, all these right here is the research I've already done. Now, if you want to, you can pause this video, screenshot this, so you've got the research as well. And then I've got even more niches and ideas down here within these tabs. So I've already done a hell of a lot of research, so it's going to make it easier for me because all I have to do is create and upload those books. 
So batching your work just saves on so much time because you can dedicate a little portion of time to do each individual task. So if you did the research, then you found a niche, you can go and create 10 books. So you create those 10 books in one go and then you go and upload them 10 books in one go as well instead of just doing one by one. Doing one by one is really, really slow <clears throat> and you're not really going to get much done. So go and batch your work and you're going to find everything so much easier. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy. This has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.